what you are trying to tell me is that nature and information is the same thing. Well, I don't see it. Can you explain this to me in such a way that even my grandmother can understand this? Imagine that you have a sculptor who is trying to come up with a sculpture of something. Um, before he starts, he's got a big stone in front of him, you know, two meters by two meters by two meters. And he's got his hammer and chisel, and he's thinking what to do there. So the first cut he makes would be a little bit like the first bit of observation that you make about your reality around you. And that already determines, of course, what kind of things can emerge out of it later. So initially, just like in quantum mechanics, when you have this block of, uh, of stone, anything can be made out of it. Um, but actually, once you start cutting and once you chisel bits away, then you start to define whatever it is that you, you ultimately want to come up with. And I think us interacting with nature is a little bit like this sculptor trying to come up with a sculpture of, uh, of something in the end. So every cut would be like every new bit of information that would have to be consistent, of course, with the previous cut, but it would also have to lead to the ultimate reality that, that emerges out of this, whatever it is that it's in, in, in sculptor's head, of course. So do you mean that uh, the universe on how we see it, how we perceive it, depends on the sculptor? So let's say if there was some other civilization that would invent different kind of science, would it mean that they will be carving something else from the stone, or I it think, will be the same? Ultimately? I think you are absolutely right that that probably one uh, mistaken, possibly mistaken bit of the analogy is that there is no sculptor in this in this universe, as far as we know, and and I think the way you would have to phrase this is in a little bit of a relative. You would have to talk about one part of the universe relative to another part of the universe, and you would have to talk about bits info of information emerging between these two parts of the universe. So. Within one aspect of the universe, you want to define some reality. And the environment of that part of the universe is your sculptor in the analogy, and that's what defines the, the reality in this way.